One of the great company transformations in recent years is that of Ampol. Not only did it rebrand its service stations from their previous label, Caltex, but fortuitously, it also kept open its Lytton refinery in Brisbane with the help of a federal government package worth almost $2 billion. Well, this week, Ampol said full year profit is $560 million compared with a loss last year of $485 million, almost a billion dollar turnaround. Revenue soared 40% for $21.6 billion due to record fuel sales. Ed Boyd spoke with Ampol's chief executive, Matt Halliday, a little earlier. So I think it represents a few things. I think it represents uh, our international business actually performing really well, uh, including record volumes. Um, it reflects uh, refiner margins in particular improving strongly through uh, the second half of last year. And it reflects a convenience retail business that actually, despite the lockdowns in Q3 last year, is performing, uh, is performing pretty strongly. How does fuel demand at the moment compare to what it was pre-COVID? Yeah, so I think uh, certainly uh, we've seen a bit of a soft start to the year in January as we've seen a bit of a pseudo lockdown effect from the Omicron variant, but we can now receive uh, mobility and, and volumes recovering quite strongly. Uh, and what we saw in Q4 when COVID restrictions were almost off, particularly in December, we were back to sort of pre-COVID levels uh, aside from jet fuel. But we can see some really positive signs now with domestic borders coming down, uh, with international borders having come down and uh, international tourists pleasingly uh, arriving back in the country today. We can see some really positive steps now to see jet fuel on that pathway back to uh, recovery towards pre-COVID levels as well. Two years ago, you were thinking of closing the Lytton refinery. Now it's one of your big money makers. Is that really only due to the government, the government subsidy you're receiving? How much money are you getting from the government to keep that open? You know, since the, uh, since the uh, FSSP or the, uh, the permanent mechanism that will run out to 2027 at least was put in place uh, with, in partnership with the government, uh, we haven't received any of that money. And the arrangement is, uh, is designed such that when margins are very weak, that support's available, but as margins recover, and they have recovered uh, reasonably strongly in the back half of uh, last year, that uh, there's that support falls away. So it's, it's operating very much as designed, uh, and Lytton, both operationally and financially, made a strong contribution uh, in the second half of last year to, uh, to our overall earnings. Yeah, do you feel like you've almost hit the jackpot here with Lytton? Because last year it reported a loss of almost $150 million and now it's got earnings of about $160 million. So massive turnaround. Yeah, look, uh, it's a, it is uh, an important contributor to our earnings. Uh, it has been for a long time. Uh, we went through a very careful review in, uh, and discussion with the government. Uh, we've got the package in place that protects against uh, the downside uh, should those conditions eventuate. But certainly what we're seeing at the moment as mobility internationally uh, resumes uh, quite strongly uh, and a number of refineries have been closed, we see uh, some real strength in refining margins, which, uh, which Lytton's been able to capitalise on. And presumably Lytton is going to remain profitable as long as oil prices are elevated. Yeah, refiner margins uh, have certainly persisted uh, so far this year in being strong. Uh, and certainly it's important that we operate the, uh, the refinery safely, productively, to make sure that we can capitalise when those margin conditions are strong as they are at the moment. Mm. And with Lytton, you've signed a deal there for a green hydrogen production pilot. How's that going to work? Yeah, so we're, one of our priorities from a, a future energy point of view in 2022 is to uh, further develop our understanding of the hydrogen supply chain. Hydrogen's going to play a really important role in the energy transition, uh, especially from a transportation point of view on the heavy transport end. And uh, Lytton uh, is an important site, uses, uh, uses a lot of hydrogen every day in their refining process. And uh, we're in the process of just installing a, a pilot plant in partnership with Fusion Fuel Green on a green hydrogen pilot there, and that will help to deepen our understanding around the, uh, the economics of hydrogen moving forward. So would you potentially be able to manufacture hydrogen out of Lytton, say, in 10 or 20 years' time, and would that be mainly used for long-haul transport, trucks, road trains? 
Look, I think Lytton has a lot of optionality with us, uh, with it uh, longer term. It's a highly strategic, very well connected uh, infrastructure site. We've got the advanced manufacturing uh, capabilities uh, there uh, for, with the refinery at the moment. So um, certainly the, the package uh, and the negotiation with the government around the continuation of refining at Lytton, one of the things that that's enabled is for us to spend more time in understanding uh, the true potential uh, for re the repurposing of Lytton in the context of the energy transition and the green hydrogen pilot is just a, an initial step in that broader part of, uh, part of our thinking. Matt Halliday, Chief Executive Vampol, thanks for your time. Thanks very much.